Good morning. It's 825 right now. I'm Katherine Hauser. We're going to check your top stories in just a second right after Danielle's forecast. Hey, Danielle. Hey, good morning, Katherine. Good morning, everybody. 75 in Boston right now. Same in Worcester, same in Taunton, 76 in Lawrence. And on our way to the lower 90s again across the interior this afternoon, upper 80s at the coast. There is a risk of a few thunderstorms today. Notice they'll be scattered in nature. And the biggest concern is for some slow moving storms to create some localized flooding. Time frame 2 to 8 p.m. Tomorrow, muggy upper 80s, a little cooler, but mm, still humid. The week scattered storms on Friday. Traffic and weather together, Catherine. All right, Danielle, thanks. Let's get a check of the maps right now. A car was on fire on the Mass Pike eastbound in Worcester right before Route 122. Uh, we should note the fire appears to be out, but two right-hand lanes are closed there, causing some delays. Checking our top stories this morning, new details about the toddler who died while in foster care. We've now learned that three of the 10 DCF workers who handled this case were not licensed. Two-year-old Avalina Conway Coxon died after being found unresponsive in her foster home in Auburn. Another foster child living in that home is in critical condition. A shooting investigation is underway in Roxbury after gunfire erupted near the Belita Cass Recreation Center yesterday. Ten shots were fired in the middle of the afternoon. The center was packed full of kids taking advantage of the pool on a hot summer day. Fortunately, no one was hurt. The shooting happened, though, as community leaders were discussing ways to stop the recent string of gun violence in Boston. Testimony will begin today in the rape trial of a graduate from prestigious New Hampshire prep school. Prosecutors say Owen Labrie raped a freshman just two days before his 2014 graduation from St. Paul's. When he was interviewed by police, Labrie exposed a tradition that was going on at the boarding school called the Senior Salute where graduating boys try to have sex with younger classmates. Coming up ahead on CBS this morning, do kids specialize, kids who specialize early in sports become better athletes? What every parent needs to know. We'll see you right back here in 30 minutes. Stay with us.